Once upon a time, there was a smart child named Ma Luang. I really like to draw, but I and number 39 am so poor I can and number 39 T buy a paintbrush. I was an orphan, looking for firewood alone, living day by day. One day, Ma Luang passed through the door of the Mandarin and number 39 s house and saw an artist painting i really like to stop by the window and watch i said to the artist grandpa i like drawing very much please give me a paintbrush the mandarin and the artist both burst out laughing and said do you even want to learn how to draw you poor thing go away quickly ma luang was so angry he said if you and number 39, re poor, can and number 39, t you learn to draw? Having said that, I just left. So, Ma Kong worked hard to learn how to draw. When I go up the mountain to collect firewood, I break tree branches and draw birds on the ground. When I went to the river to cut grass, I used a blade of grass to dip the water and draw fish on the rock. At night, I used charcoal to draw on the wall. Drawing, drawing, drawing more. With subtle observations, the birds I draw seem to sing, and the fish I draw seem to wade freely in the water. One day I painted a wolf on a cliff, but the goat, cow, saw it and hesitated to go up the mountain. Someone asked Ma Luang. Ma Luang, you also learned to draw to work for the mandarins, right? I shook. The head replied, no, definitely not. I only draw for the poor. Day after day, Ma Luang improved very quickly. How I longed to have a paintbrush. One evening, Ma Luang was just falling asleep when he saw a halo of light in the house. Then an old man with white hair and beard appeared, gave him a paintbrush, and instructed, Ma Luang, this is a magic pen. I give it to you. But you must remember the promise you made, only draw for the poor. Having finished speaking, the old man disappeared, leaving me unable to finish thanking him. Ma Luang woke up, still thinking it was in a dream. But the pen is sin and hash 39. Tea that in your hand? She laughed happily. Ha ha. I already have a pen. Ma Luang used that pen to draw birds and the birds could fly and sing. When he drew fish, the fish could swim. Truly a magic pen. Ma Luang used a magic pen to draw every day for the poor in the village. If anyone is in need or needs something, I draw that thing. One day, I passed by a field and saw a farmer and a child with their backs stretched out pulling the plow. The ground is too hard to pull. Ma Luang took out his pen and drew a buffalo plow. Behold, the buffalo appeared, going down to the fields to plow the fields for the farmer and his son. The Mandarin knew that Ma Luang had a magic pen, so he sent his minions to capture Ma Luang, and ordered him to draw silver, gold, and silver for him. Treasures. But she replied calmly, I definitely won and number 39, T draw. She was ordered to be imprisoned in a dungeon, not given food, water or anything to cover her. That night it snowed and it was very cold. The Mandarin thought that Ma Luang would die of hunger or cold, so he put on a warm coat and peeked into the prison to see what happened. Unexpectedly, through the crack in the prison door, he saw Ma Luang sitting warming himself and eating fragrant baked cakes. Of course I drew those things. The Mandarin came in and grabbed the magic pen and killed Ma Luang. But when they broke into the cell, she was nowhere to be found, except for the ladder she drew, still leaning in there. 
The Mandarin sent his henchmen to chase after me. But I drew a handsome horse long ago and ran. Away. Ma Luang ran to a town far away and stayed, painting to make a living. The paintings I draw are intentionally missing something, such as missing legs, missing eyes. Dot. To avoid them becoming lifelike, to keep the secret of the magic pen. One day, I drew a white stork with nothing in it. Had eyes, but accidentally dropped a drop of ink on Ko and number 39, S head. The white stork opened its eyes, flapped its wings and flew away. That news resonated throughout the town. The Mandarin there reported it to the emperor. Ma Liang was suddenly arrested and taken to the imperial palace. The emperor forced Ma Liang to draw for him. But knowing that he was a cruel person, oppressing innocent people, he asked to draw a dragon, but Ma Luang instead drew a gecko. When asked to draw a phoenix, I drew a crow. After the gecko and the crow finished drawing, they attacked and tore each other causing chaos, causing the emperor to steal the magic pen and put him in prison. The emperor used his pen to draw a golden mountain, but it turned into a pile of rocks that fell down, nearly killing him. The emperor had no choice but to release Ma Liang and use sweet words to persuade Ma Liang to draw. Ma Liang wanted to get the magic pen back so he pretended to agree. The emperor told Ma Liang to draw a tree that produced gold coins, so Ma Liang drew the ocean, then drew an island, on which was a tree that produced gold coins. Hoang the emperor ordered, draw a big boat immediately. Ma Luang immediately drew the boat. The emperor and his courtiers boarded a boat to go to the island to collect money. Ma Luang waved a few strokes and the wind rose and took the boat out to sea. I waved my pen harder to make the wind louder. The boat runs like flying. Ma Luang again drew on the water waves with a strong wind that caused the boat to overturn in the high waves, drowning all the kings and mandarins in the rough sea. Ma Luang took the magic pen and leisurely returned to the poor, and for their sake he drew. Dot. Thank you for joining us for today's fairy tale. We hope these stories bring joy and meaning to your day. If you love our channel, please hit the subscribe button so you won't miss any exciting tales. Wishing you a good night and sweet dreams. See you in the next story.